course it wasn't. This was a C. It was a C. B. Duclair. Duclair. Oh, Angel. Uh, let's look at the emails first. Morgan Everett, final message, cipher block. This will be your last communication over the net. The so-called Aquinas protocols that my old protege and MJ-12 have implemented are crude, but effective, much like my protege. All future meetings will need to occur face-to-face -face at a secure location. To expedite matters, I will deliver to you a tear sheet chip. It will contain 20 codes and their corresponding keys. Each code and key pair can be used once, and then it will be permanently erased. Each code will be tagged to one of the previously agreed-upon meeting locations and times. If one or the other of us should need to get in touch, send a message using one of the codes. The content of the message is irrelevant. Only the code used to decrypt it. I shouldn't need to point out that any attempt to tamper with the chip once it has been installed will result in it being rendered useless. Best of luck to you and to us all. Morgan XOXO. Love and kisses. I have sent the signal. So you found Beth's computer. Oh, hey. We are destined to meet, perhaps. I if hope you so. are truly our ally, you will help me access the MG12 computer network and complete the Grey Death vaccine. Find okay. Nicolette. You will need her key in order to exit through the crypt. I will be directing you to a nearby cathedral. Okay. I'm going to hack this one. I don't really know why... Why that exists. What door was it? Was it this? I don't really see anything else. Alright, uh, Beth? Not Beth. Beth is her mother. Nicolette! Where are you at? We'll just go out here. I don't really care. Nicolette. Where did you go? I hope she didn't like bug through the ground or something. <laughs> I hope she's actually like waiting for me outside or something. is she? Nicolette? Did you bug out? She might be uh, back by the uh, by the crypt. We'll go look at that real quick. That's where I'm supposed to go anyway. Look out, JC. I'm picking up heat signatures in That's the sewers. It. I think somebody's expecting you. Thanks, Jock. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. Exit to Claire Estate through the crypt at the end of the maze. The system I need you to access is inside a cathedral that belonged to the Knights Templar until MG-12 slaughtered the Knights for the gold reserves. Uh-huh. This, this story is just getting weirder and weirder. Well, I got him. Took two shots. <sighs> That's two. I hope Nicolette is okay. There's another two. 
Luckily, I have plenty of, uh... <laughs> they don't have a whole lot of peripheral vision, do they? It's also a really good thing that it's like super dark around here. Okay. Ah, this must she must have gone down here already. Try to ignore the smell. This sewer connects to a street near the cathedral. Not too far from here. Okay. God, I'm just, I'm expecting there to be, like, weird... Whoa. Ah. Oh. Okay. Don't know. <laughs> I like this song. This song is kind of awesome. You're going the right way. I primarily need you to establish an uplink from the MJ-12 network, but I also have uses for that gold. When you locate it, I will send someone to recover it. Prepare to receive a map of the cathedral. Sweet. Thank you. Let's uh, let's take a look at it. Now, are there going to be like zombies and and like vampires here? Because that's what it sounds like. Uh, ooh. that's what this uh pink up here. All right. Uh, where am I? I actually don't know. I'm 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 around here somewhere. This is the cathedral. So once I get over here, I guess we'll see. I actually don't know where the hell I'm supposed to go, other than just go to the cathedral. So let's just maybe get there, and then we'll let me get updated. guy over there. <laughs> nice. 34 bucks. I'll take it. <laughs> no. I, 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 I can do it. I just need the uh, the box there and just look around a little bit more. be prepared to shoot this guy. Is he going to come back? never have any loot. Such a tease. Such a tease. I'll wait until this guy's looking the other way. Right, right there. Oh shit. That's that's a big robot. Where is it? Oh, okay. I 
Okay, good. It's going the other way. I'll have to wait until this guy looks the other way. Radar transparency is on. Shit. shit. Uh, this is fine, actually. The the guy can't see me. Okay. Robots can't see me when my uh transparency is is on. Local sites Cathedral de Peon. Though overshadowed by several larger and more well-known cathedrals, the Cathedral de Peon is the in the 14th Arin <laughs> Too much French. Remains a historical curiosity of interest in many scholars. Construction was begun in 1218, completed before the end of the century, financed by the Templar Knights, an order of warrior monks. Yes, yeah, that's what they were. As part of the similar similar network of churches, cathedrals and forts, or commanderies, as they were called, throughout Britain, Europe, and the Holy Land. <laughs> it got really loud all of a sudden. It was like, oh my god, did it see? Some scholars believe that the order did not disappear in 1311 with its dissolution, however, and that the Templar Knights continued to operate more or less in secret. But whatever is the truth, Peon fell into disrepair until it finally purchased and renovated re renovated by a group of European investors in 1918 as a corporate retreat. While closed to the public, it still remains a com comforting presence at the heart of the area. Okay, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for this uh, giant ass friggin' mech to pass us by. We're also going to, I think, uh, save the game, just in case. Because there is a guy, like, right there, too. Shit. There's too many friggin' guys here. Not a good thing, though. Luckily, it seems like the the robot did not, in fact, see me at all. Striker FA, I don't really care about that. The robot does look like he sees that, though. Oh, shit. Ah, yeah, that robot's gonna see. <laughs> Everyone's gonna see those two dead guys. Uh, I'll take the armor, and we'll um, we'll get the hell out of here. I was gonna try to see what was like in there. Oh, it's the metro. It goes to the metro. Okay, we don't need to go to that way. We need to continue on to the cathedral, which is up here. God. Okay. There's a camera there. It's okay. I can get past the camera. Alternatively, I can um, perhaps go down this way. There could be something down here. Let's, let's save the game and try it. Oh yeah, look, there's there's like a di different way in here. We're gonna try this. I could get past the camera, but we're gonna go this way instead. Is that like a dead cat on there? Oh god, I'm. This might have been a mistake. It 
this might, this might indeed have been a mistake. Uh-oh. Hey, good thing I saved. Nope, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. The reading's all over the scale. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead. You know what? Just kill me. Or you know what? They don't have to kill me. I can just reload. Oh, uh, that was a mistake. I think I should go ahead and just sk skip by the camera. I think that's gonna be the best, the best option. Because I can't hold my breath for long enough. I can't do it. Okay. Camera off. Turret status. I guess. Enemies. I don't really know. Yes. MG twelve has the cathedral locked down. If you can't get through one of the doors, you will have to find another way. I'm not sure where the computer system is located. I'm gonna try to get in there. Hopefully it's not locked. Of course it's friggin' locked. Four picks. Okay. I'm good. That's him. Well, well, shit. I didn't expect him to turn around suddenly. Oh, God. I didn't expect him to turn around immediately. He stopped and I was gonna stun him. Oh, uh. no, no! Can he still see me? Is he still. Alright, I think. He I think he might have lost me. God, that that robot was friggin' on me. Nope, he's they're still on me. I don't know. They can like see me down through the uh, through the bridge. I guess that's a little buggy. Did it kill itself? I think it literally killed itself. I think it sh shot a missile at the bridge and it like died from its own splash damage. Okay, we're gonna try this again. We're going to uh, we're gonna wait here in the darkness until this guy goes away. We're gonna go over here. There's that guy. That's fine. That's a whole bunch of bullshit. You know what? I can't. I can't. I am gonna have to reload. This is this is not this is not a thing that I'm willing to put up with. That's a little bit buggy. I was in the darkness, I was crouching behind the thing. That guy definitely shouldn't have seen me. Off. Watch it. He hasn't gone far. Watch yourself. This one's some kind of mech. I'm, um... Come on out. Oh, 
Oh, they... They EMP'd me. I'm probably gonna have to restart again. I forgot about the camera. That one was my fault, though. That one was entirely my fault. To be fair. Yeah, my legs, my legs busted. We're gonna restart again. To be fair, that one was entirely my fault because I forgot about the camera. So. Camera's still on, but uh MG twelve has the cathedral locked down. They should shoot at enemies now. Through one of the doors. You have to find another way. I'm not sure where the computer system is located. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna friggin' get this asshole here. We're gonna get him, we're going to stun him, we're gonna move him behind this planter. back let's go let's go hide and wait for the robot to come back going away. I was going to try to get in here. Like maybe that's a place that we can get into. And uh, we find a key or something. Nope. Um... That was a creepy ass sound. Crap. Okay. I'm actually going to save it right here. Yes. Ha! A trellis. You could climb onto the roof and avoid the security. Never depend upon weapons and high tech when there is a simpler solution at hand. God, that the friggin' commandos humming to themselves is creepy as hell. Holy shit. Okay. Up we go. You're right, Tracer. This is this is the much better way. I see you. Through there. A thief on the roof. Shit. My new satellite link has both infrared and the X-ray spectrum. I see your heart beating. I see you are afraid. I mean, a little bit. Who wouldn't be afraid of you, Gunther? You're kind of a weird German badass. The Red Cross, History of the Knights Templar. While many charges can be disputed, it is clear that the more the knights pr prospered, the less they became the austere monastic order that had originally been envisioned by de Peon a century ago. Eventually, even excommunicated men and criminals were accepted as long as they pledged blind obedience to the order. Rumors of secret initiation rituals and the osculum infame, obscene kiss, flourished, as did stories that they worshipped Baphomet and other false pagan gods. Are these guys vampires? Are we adding vampires to the mix? Are we adding vampires in addition to Illuminati and evil corporations and aliens? But it was the rivalry with the Order of the Hospitalier that and their continued 
arrogance that were the most responsible for their downfall. When Jerusalem was finally lost to the mighty forces of Saladin, Philip the Fair saw an opportunity to bring the Templars to heel and greatly expand its own holdings. With the cooperation of the French Pope Clement V, Philip accused the Templars of heresy and in 1304 placed all members of the order in France under arrest, subsequently subjecting them to brutal interrogations in an effort to determine whether the ra rather fanciful charge of sodomy, apostasy, and devil worship were true. I hope so. That sounds great. Ah, a good library. Worth its weight in gold. You and friggin' gold, Morgan. Gold! It's gold! Volume 2. Lions of God. And every sovereign of Europe made donations to the order, be it land, money, arms, or menos. This one should have been uh, read before this one. This is the fall. This is like the middle. They triumphed in battle after battle, the first to attack and the last to retreat. Rough knights of the battlefield, as described by Jacques de Verdi. If taken prisoner, they refused all efforts to secure their freedom, instead becoming martyrs to the cause of God. With every success... The order prospered even further. At their height, they were said to have owned over 9,000, over 9,000 estates throughout Britain, France, Italy, and the Holy Lands, including a network of castles and uh, commanderies built to protect the frequent pilgrims to Jerusalem. In all but name, the Templars virtually rivaled, or virtually ruled Jerusalem, and in what can only be termed hubris, recognized no temporal authority over their affairs save that of the Church. By 1250, the coffers of the order had grown so large it was not uncommon for pilgrims to deposit their money with a temple in London or Paris and then cash in their receipt upon arriving in Jerusalem, thus establishing the foundations for modern banking. Is that true? Or is that made up? I don't have any, uh, lights, but that's okay. Nanokey. Volume, see, I should have started over here. This is the last one. Let's, let's read volume one and then we'll read the, the final one. Volume one. Upon the deliverance of Jerusalem, the Holy Lands remained in a precarious state, surrounded on all sides by hostile Mohammedan, Mohammedan neighbors. What a weird name that is. I mean, I know what it is. It was then that the Hugue de Payan, a knight from Champagne, found himself and eight fellow knights in a vow to forever protect the kingdom of Christendom. Accepted in 1118 by Baldwin II, the Patriarch of Jerusalem, they were given charitable lodgings in the city temple where they became the Pauvre Chevalier du Temple, or Poor Knights of the Temple. It was not until later at the Council of Troy that the Templar Knights adopted the austere monastic rule of St. Benedict, along with the white garments of their Cistercians, Cistercians, adding to them the characteristic red cross that symbolized their willingness to spill their own blood in defense of the one true faith. Templars quickly became a popular order, renowned as lions at war and lambs at the hearth. They were soon exempted by the popes from all secular and episcopal authority, save that of the popes themselves, and their lands exempted from all taxation. Sounds nice. So that was the beginning. Here's the end. Descent into shadows. Despite Clement's later efforts to annul the proceedings, the confessions had become matters of record. Those who repented were spared the flames, while 50 knights who chose to recant their confessions, becoming relapsy, relapsed heretics, were promptly burned at the stake. Oh, great. The remaining members of the order in France quickly admitted their guilt, and in 1311, a, an apostolic decree was issued dissolving the order. Templar knights had once been subject to no king or law, but in the end, they were swallowed by history. Many have debated whether the rather ignominious dissolution of the order was entirely accidental. While well, some have even gone so far as to suggest that it was part of a larger plan on the Templars' part. Such a massive, powerful organization, the argument goes, could not have been brought so low so easily. Obscure speculation concerning a mysterious Hay Wayne that departed their com uh, commandery in Paris had led certain researchers to believe that they may have been protecting the secret of the Holy Grail, or the secret of transmutation, Still others contest, contend that the Templar Knights merely went underground and founded the powerful secret of banking societies of Switzerland. Could be. Who knows? Maybe, maybe we'll find out. 